What's up? My name is Anthony and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can upload your website files onto cPanel. Now before we jump onto the computer I just want to mention one thing that this method works best for HTML websites. So if your website is anything else other than HTML, a simple HTML, CSS and JavaScript, then you may have a few challenges uh, with this particular method. Um, and so you may want to refer to some of the other videos that we've created in that regard. If you have a Word, WordPress website, uh, there's a different way of moving it. And I'll refer you to one of our different videos on how to do that. But if you've created your website on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, then this video is for you. So let's jump into the computer and see how to do this. So here we are. And the first thing that you will need to do is you'll first need to log into your cPanel. Now, the way you log into cPanel is your domain forward slash cPanel. So for instance, mine is cafuatu.com. Uh, so the way I would get in is cafuatu.com forward slash cPanel, what you're seeing here. Now, this would be the main way of uh, logging in. You'll be asked for a uh, uh, password and uh, login credentials. So basically your uh, admin um, username and your password. Now, once you log into cPanel, you'll need to go to your uh, file uh, and the specific folder that you want to um, that you want to upload. Now mine, I've called mine test website. If you look at it here, uh, it's test website, and this is the folder that I want to upload. Now, I would get in to that folder. Now, once I get into that folder, I would choose all the files that are within that folder. So, uh, for me, I've just dragged and selected all. You can do, like, Control A if you're on a PC, uh, Command A if you're on a Mac. And once you select all the files, uh, and you're ready for all of them to be uploaded, uh, you'd right click, that's uh, on a PC, and uh, choose send to a compressed zip folder. Now once you click on that, it should basically um, collect all of those images that you, uh, all of those things that you had selected and compress them into a zip file. Now I normally uh, call my uh, upload files uh, upload.zip just to let me know what exactly is there. So when I normally see uh, files like this, then when I see upload, I know that this uh, file is a zipped file of all of these. Now, once I have zipped all the files, I'll put that away uh, for the moment. And um, now let's get to um, the cPanel. Uh, you'd navigate to the file manager of your cPanel. When you click on that, it should take you to uh, the file manager. Now, uh, the file manager has a lot of files within it, um, and depending on how fresh your account is, it will either be as empty as this one is or have a lot of them. But the one thing that you need to look for is the public underscore HTML uh, folder. Most of uh, cPanel uh, file managers have the public underscore HTML folder having this icon, the icon of the world in blue, especially if you have the most recent uh, version of cPanel. And so you need to enter into this folder. And the way you enter into it is by double-clicking on it. By double-clicking on it, it takes you there. Now, on this left-hand panel, you'll notice that this folder also is there. And by clicking on it, it opens it up. Uh, and it's also a good way of navigating there. So navigate to the public uh, underscore HTML uh, section. Now, if your account is fresh, let me just show you what this loads. This, um, this public uh, HTML folder loads um, this website. It's just basically a Caribou landing page. Uh, it's the standard page that any web hosting company would set you up on. And that this is the one that we set up our clients on uh, when they create a new hosting plan. Now, uh, so that the, the website files that you have uh, to ensure that they are not going to conflict with um, the files that are in there. Uh, my standard way, and the best way I would advise to go about it, is to select all. So the way I've done that is by clicking on the last item, 
then pressing shift, then uh, going to the first item. It selects all of them. Now you can choose to, del to delete this, though I find that to be not the best way to go about it. So what I would do is I would press compress here, and that essentially zips everything. Uh, press, uh, click on compress. What it does, it zips all those files into, um, into one zip file and essentially takes them away from uh, being seen. But you, uh, the good thing about it is that it does not remove them completely. Now, by doing that, you have not actually removed the files themselves. You still need to delete them. But notice that this cgi.bin.zip, uh, cgi-bin.zip um, is the zip file that has been zipped from all of this. Now, it takes the name of the first folder or the first file that it finds at the top. So I, would, my, I usually name this uh, backup just to let me know in the future what this zip file is. Then after that, I would select all of the files and excluding the one we just backed up, I would delete the rest. And I delete them by clicking delete there. And confirm, delete. And so the only thing I'll be remaining with is the backup of original website.zip. And this essentially ensures that when I upload my website, it's not going to conflict with uh, what was originally there. You, sh you can go through the same process if you have any other kind of website uh, or any other content that is in the public HTML. You want to ensure that it's completely blank before uploading the rest of your content. Now, the next step uh, you want to do is um, upload. Uh, click on Upload. Now, once you click on Upload, um, it basically takes you to a new window. And the Upload window, um, the Upload window uh, basically allows you to uh, drop files or upload files to the specific folder that you're on. So if you click Upload when you're on the public HTML, it's going to upload to the public HTML, as you can see here. And that's the same way if you're uploading, let's say, to... Uh, let's just choose any random folder. If, let's say we are on SSL, the SSL folder, and we say it upload, then it would tell us that we, uh, it would allow us to upload directly. The window that it would open would upload directly to the SSL folder. However, that's not what we want. We want to upload to the public underscore HTML folder. So you would upload. Now this is the button I clicked, and it's here, upload. Now once you uh, get here, what you need to do is uh, get the files. Let me get the files back. Um, now, uh, remember we upload, we created an upload.zip. Uh, now, that's a file I would drag here. So you can drag it and drag it there, and it would start uploading. Or you could select file and navigate to the specific folder where that uh, folder is located. However, right now, uh, this dragging works well. Now, when you're dragging, just ensure that you drag uh, in between the dotted box and um, that you're going to um, wait until it goes green. It, even if it goes to 100% and it's still blue, it hasn't completed. So wait for it to go green uh, for you to uh, know that the file upload has completed. Now, once that is done, you can close this window and you can now go back to here. Now, um, if we refresh, reload, we'll notice that our upload.zip is still here. However, if we come and reload this site, you'll notice that it does not have, it does not give us the website we have. Uh, and the reason for that is that the website is still in zip format, the upload.zip, and that's the reason it's showing this screen. So let's navigate back to the upload. Uh, for us to now deploy the website, for it to go live, uh, what we need to do is right click on the upload, uh, on the upload.zip or whatever you named your uh, file, the one that you've just uploaded, and then uh, click on extract and then extract files. Now by doing that, you're going to extract all the files uh, that were originally in your original folder that are, that are here, and it will show that uh, extraction complete. Close. Now, when you have this, then your website is actually now ready to view. Now, and if we click on this, you will notice that uh, cfwatu.com now loads the website that we originally had. And it's loading, and it's loaded. Um, 
give it a moment. And there we go. And now we have a ready website that is ready to run and it's uh, functioning uh, as we expect. Now I just created a small um, demo website here uh, that doesn't have a lot of pages and stuff, but this should basically work for all, all, uh, all sites. Let me reiterate, as I've said before, that you can only do this process if your website is HTML, is a HTML website. If your website is anything else other than HTML, you may probably need to use another method, but this is the way you upload a HTML website. Um, and uh, the reason why the other websites would not work is because um, when you are, the, the other websites need uh, you to set up databases and so on. So even if you just upload the, um, the other sites, let's say you're running a website on WordPress, if you just upload the public uh, HTML um, uh, items to the folder here, just as we've done, it will not uh, necessarily work. And the reason for that is because it has dependencies on the database that you need to set up. Thank you so much for watching that. Now, if you have any questions, uh, um, anything that did not make sense in that video, please post them in the comments below or give us a call on 0712-500-500 if you are in Kenya uh, or shoot us an email at support at deepafrica.com. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to be making more content like this to just help you as our client or if you are considering being our client, uh, how to basically get uh, started uh, using cPanel and the rest of our services. So thank you for watching that. If you want to watch any more of this and get notified every time we create any new content, please uh, press the subscribe button and uh, the, not uh, the bell notification uh, so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you so much for watching that. Have a lovely day.